entrusted with installation of 4000 megawatt capacity super thermal power project at Pataratu near Rachi city. In first stage, there are three units of 800 megawatt being constructed by BHEL through EPC contract. In second stage, two units of 800 megawatt will be built. After completion of all five units, Jharkhand will not only be self-sufficient but able to give electricity to other states. Safety is a part of core value at Patratu STPP. The safety and security of employees remains the first and foremost priority of PVUN. PVUN being the subsidiary of NTPC which has its robust safety systems and policy in practice is fully committed to provide safe working environment for its workforce, the plant assets and the environment. At PVUN we make difference by introducing the sustainable safety systems and implement the same at grassroots level. We have full-fledged hospital with qualified doctors and support staff for taking care of any kind of medical urgencies arising after project work. Every worker or supervisor or engineer undergo medical fitness test at our hospital premises by our own doctors which is required as per statutory standards. Vertigo test is part of medical fitness test for the workforce working at height and same is being done at safety park where testing is carried out in controlled environment without exposing worker to actual site situation. Subsequently, each worker undergoes safety induction training designed and developed to identify hazards and countermeasures specific to an ongoing project activities. Job specific safety training is also imparted to the workers according to the trades and type work they are doing in the project. Some example are height work safety training, hot work safety training, electrical safety training, confined space safety training. Every worker is issued with mandatory PPEs like safety shoes, safety helmet and reflective jacket prior to issue of gate pass. For specific job requirement, other PPEs are also issued before starting of work. Issue of gate pass is linked with medical fitness, safety induction training and PPE issue to ensure the 100% compliance of statutory standards prior engagement of any new workers. Refresher training is also conducted at internal of 3 months. At PVUN, every worker participates in safety toolbox meeting before start of the work where he receives necessary information regarding the jobs of works safety precautions to be taken and necessary PPEs to be used by site engineer and safety officer of agency. Work permit system for various hazardous activities is being meticulously followed at PVUN. Method statement, job safety analysis and lifting plan are being prepared for each activity by agency and reviewed by PVUN Execution and Safety Department prior to allow agency for start of work by agency. Many new safety initiatives in line with statutory and international standards are being taken at PVUN like Contract Labor Information Management System which is implemented at project site for capturing digital information data of workforce entering at project. PPEs are regularly checked at gate by PVUN safety stewards. Use of shoulder pads has been implemented to avoid shoulder injury and very useful for TMT rebar shifting from yard to site location manually. Every construction equipments and vehicles like JCB, excavators, dumpers, cranes and transit mixtures are being checked on weekly basis. Also, the helper guides the operator during reversing the vehicle. All construction vehicles are fitted with retro reflective sticker for better visibility in low light conditions. Wheel stoppers are being used while parking of vehicle to avoid accidental rolling. Every vehicle is equipped with fire extinguisher and first aid kit. In civil construction areas, all excavations are properly hard barricaded and barrications are painted for visibility. 
safety display boards and awareness posters are installed at prominent locations. Do's and don'ts, operating procedure and concrete cleaning procedures are displayed at all batching plant areas to educate and make the workers aware about safe practice. Chimney is the highest structure of project and fall from height is major concern. To ensure safe working condition, many initiatives have been taken. Let us name a few. Provision of safety net inside and outside the slip formed structure to arrest fall of material and man. Passenger cage for transportation of workers are being tested and marked with SWL. For additional protection fall arresting device we fitted with both guide ropes of passenger cage. Also limit switches are provided at top and bottom of passenger lift to stop the lift if operator makes any mistake. Daily inspection of slip form is being done to record any deviation and rectify the same in due course of time. Rebar caps for protruding TMT rebar from ground and foundations in cable hanger for organizing electrical cable in workplace is a unique initiative that has been taken for ensuring safe working conditions and prevent slip and trip. Electrical distribution panels are made of industrial type only and equipped with ELCB rating and proper earthing. ELCB, RCCB testing and earth resistant testing are being done on regular basis to prevent any accident due to electric shock to workers. Every earth pit is marked with identification number and earth resistance on cover. Illumination levels are being checked before issue of night work permit and records are maintained for future reference. In mechanical erection activities, care is being taken so that all the lifting tools being used at site are properly load tested by competent persons marked with SWL, safe working load. All erection activities are being done under close supervision of train riggers, supervisors and engineers. Safety net and lifeline are being installed in structural members from ground level and pre-lift inspection are being done prior to start of any lifting and erection activity. Further, only new generation Hydra cranes are allowed at PVUN project as it has benefit of better stability, ease of operation, safety load indicator, better visibility for operator etc. over old generation machines. Being a mega project, it requires huge storage area to store the materials. Storage area has been developed with proper access route marking and light mask for lighting during night hours. Material is being unloaded, segregated, stacked properly and safely for easy retrieval as per project requirement and avoid incidents during subsequent loading and transportation from storage yard to project site. Infrastructure and practices adopted for safety awareness and welfare facilities developed at project consists of Dedicated safety training hall is available with PVUN and BHEL for ensuring proper training and skill development at each level for safe project execution. Big size LCD TV have been installed at various building of project like admin building, canteen areas and workers restroom area. Continuous viewing of safety awareness films are displayed in all areas. All construction zones are barricaded and movement is restricted for general public as well as unauthorized personnel. Water sprinkling is being done on plant road areas for dust suppression. Worker rest areas are developed at site by agencies with facilities of urinals drinking water so that workforce can take lunch break in safe ergonomic environment. Mock drills are tools to prepare workforce for any upcoming adverse situation and are being religiously practiced on various situations which may arise. Safety Park has been developed by PVU and Safety Department and every worker undergoes training at Safety Park as a part of Safety Induction Program. Various models are kept in Safety Park covering various hazardous areas along with guidelines for safe working in those areas. 
site visits, meetings and motivations. Site inspection and visits are vital tools for ensuring sustainable, safe working conditions. Every meeting like HOD review, project review meeting, agency review meeting etc. starts with safety discussion and improvement that can be done towards safe work environment at PVUN. Safety issues observed during site visit and suggestion for improvement are discussed and implemented immediately. Monthly motivation programs are being organized at site through awards and recognition for encouraging the efforts of individuals as well as agencies who contributed in safe working during the whole month. Agencies are rated with prescribed checklist and awarded with rolling trophy in safety introduced for maintaining safe working condition by agency. This acts as a positive reinforcement for desired behavioral changes upon PVUN and BHEL both with their highly motivated and committed team are able to make the workplace safe for workforce and agencies and wish to contribute continuously towards safe and quality delivery of the project.